Alright everyone, welcome back to another Forza Horizon 5 video here on the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Nash Metropolitan Custom from Hot Wheels. It's the new festival playlist reward. I actually already had one. I got it out of a wheel spin the other day, just being real lucky. And now I have two, so we're going to check this guy out. I think we're not going to bother tuning or doing anything specific with this guy today. We're just going to check out and see what it's capable of all around. And I'm thinking first things first we're going to do is a drag race, just to see what we can do with it. So let's jump over and put a new engine and stuff in it and see how fast it is. Alright, at the end we gained 25 pounds, but we also gained over a thousand horsepower, and I think that's a pretty good trade-off. Our lateral G's aren't going to be that great, obviously, because we're not going to be turning that much. But in a straight line, it's going to be real fast. Let's see what we can do. I believe we are on either expert or professional driving cars, so this is... It. Anybody's game, really. It's all about the top speed, and we are not doing too well. No surprise there, the bone shakers are beating everyone. Ooh, we're gonna squeeze out a third. I think we squeeze out a third. Come on, it's, it was close. Fourth, damn. No surprise, typically uh, drag racing is all about top speed, and I didn't think this guy was going to be super, super fast. We only have 1,300 horsepower, so it's not like we could really rival anything that's got more than that. Now let's go see how it does off-road. I kind of want to try out a rally build, maybe like a low-power B-class off-road tune, something like that. All right, let's reset all these upgrades. And for rally, of course, we're going to throw all-wheel drive on. Going to not touch the arrow. We're going to put us some rally tires on. Do we want rally? We gained 200 pounds, no surprise, and we gained 200 horsepower-ish, but we are only in A-Class now instead of S1, so that's not bad. Now for our dirt racing, I think we're going to do a circuit, and I think it's going to be this guy right here. I like this track. It's got like a 50-50 distribution of asphalt and dirt, so it's a nice mix. Well, let's do this one. Let's see how she handles on dirt. I'm not expecting too much out of this guy. It's actually not half bad. I was expecting to go straight off the corner there. It helps that we're racing with cars that are of like a similar age and performance. If we were racing against rally cars that had the same performance specs, we would be losing very badly. Old shit boxes though, we can handle those. Got side exhaust coming out the side there. That's pretty sick. Didn't even realize that. Oh yeah, these tires are grippy. 15 PSI was the correct call. That corner like shit. Let's see if we can get the uh, get some drafting going. Can't talk today. Yeah, our straight line speed is not great. I think we got them in the corners though. Kind of what I was hoping for. Come on, baby. We're having a hard time catching them on these straights. It grabs hard on the asphalt, though. That's good. Something I'm thinking about right now, though, it's a good thing we didn't do just straight off-road tires. They would have given us more performance index points, and we barely were able to max it out as is in A-Class, so we would have been underpowered, I think, for for uh, more grippy dirt tires. Back here. Oh, we got him. Easy money, corners are easy for us and hard for them. Weird visual glitch going on in front of us. What is that? And that is that. We pulled away from those guys pretty hard on experts. So I don't know if it's because they're in shitty cars or if this one's just really good. So I'm going to claim that it's this one, but in reality, who knows? Now, we're not going to do any cross-country races. I'm not a big fan of cross-country races. I think this car would handle just fine at it, and I'm pretty sure that not a lot of people actually play cross-country all that much. 
But I think we're gonna do road racing now, and road and street racing basically translate over to the same build. You just have to dodge cars in street racing, so no, no big difference there. Ah, right there, perfect. It looks stupid, but that's what we're gonna have to do. All right, we lost some weight, and we gained some lateral G, and the horsepower stayed the same, so I'm not liking our chances for racing this guy in B-Class, but you know, who's to say? All right, for B-Class, we're gonna do a circuit race, this guy right here. We don't do this one, or me personally, I don't do this one very often, and I do kinda like it, so we're gonna try it out and see how she does. All right, we threw a tune in her. I'm not gonna show that. It's basically what I do with everything else, and we have been on expert this entire time. So let's see what we can do with this guy, an expert B-Class road racing. I'm not hoping for much, really. Oh, there's that Ford Dually. That is a sick looking truck. That's one of the cars that I want the most out of the Hot Wheels cars that's coming. Ooh, I think having a Dually drift truck would be hilarious. All right, so far we're not doing too bad. Our tire pressure is quite low. Oh, it's still kind of slidey. That's what happens when you have that upgraded bigger rim size in the rear. The tire doesn't fold as much. as uh, a lot more tendency to slide. Expert B-Class, why is that shadow there? I just noticed it again. It's so annoying. It's almost like there's a really big plane flying over at all times in the same spot in front of you. Well, we took that corner way better than these guys. We are sliding so much though, it's so annoying. Alright, keep it going. Damn, this thing might be a drift car. We may have to try out drifting. We're having a hard time catching up to second here. We are on lap two. We're not doing too bad. This thing is very slidey. Those bigger rims in the back. We are catching them up though. That corner right there, right before the end, is very much faster for us than it is for everyone else. Up in the second, that's good. A little bit of slide, come on. The stance on this thing should stop it from sliding. Look at how freaking wide these back tires are. I think we got him. I think we can pass him in first on that last corner up here. Lots of slide, lots of slide. We may, maybe we could tune that out with a little less camber in the rear. I would love like an extra 90 horsepower though. That'd be great. Come on, baby. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna pass him. Damn it. Ooh, yep, we got up there, but nope, couldn't do it. Not quite enough. We don't have enough power to keep up with some of the faster guys and our corners are not as good as they used to be because we had to upgrade the rear rim, make it wider. I think all wheel drive this car might be viable in A class, but it's also just going to be, uh, you're going to have to get better tires and this thing has way too much, like the tires are way too skinny for this type of racing and stuff. So let's check out how it does at drifting. All right, once again, we reset everything for drifting. Uh, we're going to go in and throw the drift tires on it. And leave the rims alone. We're going to fully upgrade everything. Yeah, we're not doing the supercharger upgrade. We are just going to leave it. 850 is 
pretty good for us for this car, I think, for drifting. Especially because the tires are so tiny, it doesn't matter how much power we have. We could probably do it on the stock engine if we wanted to. Let's go to this guy right here. It's got a decent amount of turns and stuff in it, and it's not super long. I think we can handle this guy. Not too optimistic about how well this guy's going to drift, but let's give her a shot. Alright, coming in, initiate, whip it. We need, ooh, we need to throw a little bit of extra toe in the rear and in the front. And then I think this thing won't be half bad, actually. I don't know what my PB is for this, but we're going to get pretty close to it, I'm pretty sure. 210. Oh, we actually got a new personal vest. I don't know what the old one was, but we beat it. And the funny thing is, we can make this car even better. We're going to come in here, and we're going to throw one degree out and one degree in on the rear. That should help it kind of crab walk a little better, so we can keep these drifts going for longer in the same direction. Let's go back here and try this guy again. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, this thing is, it's, that's much better. That one degree of toe in both front and back actually helped quite a lot. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe we screwed it. This could just be me too. Let's see how we do. We got awful close. Let's give that guy another shot. I think that was just me whiffing it right at the beginning. All right, here we go again. Actually, 211,000, I think, is what we're going to try and beat. That's what my friend Crazy Scarface has. Oh, we screwed it. See if we can get an extra 3,000. Nope, we failed it. Damn, we're going to give that another shot. All right, here we come. Let's initiate. This guy drifting as we're going in. We are screwing it up. We need to be more sideways. There we go, 212. We beat him by 2,000 points, or we beat our personal best by 2,000. Beat him by one. I'll take it. We actually only beat him by 200 points, so that's okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it today for us looking at this Nash Metropolitan Custom. I'm having a hard time talking today, forgive me. If you guys like the video, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, give me some suggestions for what you wanna see in the future, content-wise, whether you wanna keep seeing videos of cars like this, or if you're liking the Sniper Elite stuff, or if you want more BMNG, whatever. Let me know if you want to see something different, too. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys later.